Hello YouTubers, I am Angela Logan and this is Everyday Shenanigans. Thanks for joining me on this Thursday, December 5th, 2019. Warm greetings from the high 10. Uh, I want to uh, give you all an update. Uh, I'm only going to reveal this story because I talk about uh, Birmingham, Alabama because of the uh, McKinney case. And so I want to let you all know who live in Alabama that there is... A crime that has been committed down there and it reads as follows this information is from W VTM News 13 Birmingham police searching for a suspect wanted for robbery kidnapping sexual assault this story was updated today at 1255 p.m. Birmingham police are asking for the public's assistance in locating and identifying a man wanted on three charges involving a female victim Sergeant Johnny Williams said the suspect shown in a surveillance photo kidnapped a female at gunpoint in the 1700 block of 11th Place South around 10.23 p.m. Wednesday. Police said the man forced the victim into her car and drove to various locations attempting to withdraw money from her credit cards. The suspect is also accused of sexually assaulting the woman before leaving in an unknown direction on foot. On foot, excuse me. Anyone with any information on the identity and location of the suspect is encouraged to contact the social, the special victims detectives at 205-297-8437. You can also remain anonymous by contacting Crime Stoppers at 205-254-7777. Tipsters will information leading to an arrest will receive a cash reward from Crime Stoppers. So they have a young African-American male that uh, was seen on surveillance, I guess using the young lady's credit cards that he um, has obviously held at gunpoint and uh, stole her cards, sexually assaulted her, and been going had her driving around various places to um, use her Card. So, please log on to WVTM and get the said information and photo of the identifying suspect. Okay, what I'd like to talk to you all about is in um, the uh, ongoing beef that has been going on social media at the moment with Mr. Uh, Two Guns Vito and Dominic McKinney. Um, I thought about that. I want to do this video or not. And I thought, yeah, well, everything else comes out. So, why not discuss it? Um, I'm only discussing it because a lot of times people will comment in, you know, in the comment section and they will, um, uh, excuse me, they'll be asking you things and it might be some things that, you know, I hadn't even heard of because as I state, I don't go to these people who have been affiliated with this case. I don't go to their social media pages every day. I don't go trolling and looking for stuff. I usually only go when someone has mentioned something to me and then I go to verify for myself because I don't like just repeating stuff that somebody else said or on another YouTube channel because it's really best I see it with my own eyes and then I relay it back to you all. Okay, but you all, most of you who already know, there is an ongoing beef, blah, blah, blah. Been live feeds going on between the two. Uh, a ransom put on Mr. Two Guns' head by Dominic. 30 racks, yeah, 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 back and forth. Um, and I think, as I had stated, that most people, including the people involved, have lost focus and, and insight on what is important. And what's important is finding justice for Camille McKinney. Two people have been apprehended and they are in jail at this moment. Now, everyone has their own opinion about these said subjects. Some think they are involved to some degree. Some don't think at all. We will see. That is the purpose of going to court and seeing the evidence as it unfolds. But this beef, yes, gotten out of control, nonsense, rhetoric, social media hype, all of that. And I have been watching several YouTube channels, and I'm going to shout out to them because they've done a good job in relaying information. Because you see on my channel, I just give a personal opinion. I don't show any videos or pictures of any said subjects or people, victims, any of that. I'm just more commentary. Now, I want to send a shout out to SP Nuggets, Planet of the Fake, and Miss TG Global News. I've sat up watching late this morning. All of those said people I just mentioned. I've had no sleep because I'm watching, learning, 
And they've done a great job. The live feed on Planet of the Fake last night was great. I had a great time <laughs> commenting. You do a great job over there. And I like listening to the different commentary, the different feeds. You know, you're getting from the people. You, you know, you can learn a little bit by listening to what people have to say in their commentary. I just paused Miss um, uh, SP Nuggets. She had a video. There was a clip of some ladies in one of the videos. And I'm going to relay this and tie it into why I'm on here this evening. Well, afternoon, rather. Show of two ladies. She's basically asking us, you know, did we, did we catch the nugget? I didn't, of course. So I was up late scrolling her page, you know, reading comments and stuff, her column, whatever. And then it dawned on me once she responded hours later of who was in the video clip. You see, I have an idea what the beef is about between the two, Vito and Dom Dom. I think, and this is my opinion, I think the, the, the beef that was going on before Cupcake ever went missing is about the baby's mothers. He has two baby mothers. And I think there's truth to the rumor of April and his friend messing around. And I also think there's something about Miss Paulicia that he feels funky about towards Mr. Vito. I can't say that Vito ever messed with her, dated her, whatever. I can't say that his friend or associates have been with Paulicia, but she is in one of his videos. And that's when it hit me today. I said, that's what all this hype is about. It's about these baby mothers and this guy. And he's taken all his anger and focused it, focused it on Mr. Two Guns Vito about some females. That's the only thing I can draw from this. Because you see, Mr. McKinney never brought a receipt to what the beef was about. You see, I keep telling people, I don't judge on how somebody look. None of that. I, mean, I form my opinions on what you say and what you do, what you don't say. And my own personal experiences dealing with two-legged creatures. And I can say, Dom Dom never brought a receipt pertaining to anything Vito has said. Because as I've said to some of you, and some of you will differ in opinion, some of you have taken sides, some of you feel the way you feel, I feel the way I feel. Like I said, I don't know any of these people involved. But I think everybody has played off another person's live feed. That's point blank. Dominic got this ball crunk by going live, giving his personal opinions about Mother, Vito, Nolan, whomever. And everybody fed off of that. That's why everything's escalated to the point that it has here in the recent days. But I honestly think it's what Vito had said in the beginning, that it was over. One of the baby mothers. Now, which one exactly? It, it's one of them. One of them messed with that Nolan kid, young man, excuse me, and and he's felt some type of way ever since. Because it makes sense to me now, because he's never defended it, defuted it, said nothing. You know, you went out, you threw this guy under the bus. Nobody even knew two guns before. Like I said, October 12th, nobody knew of him. You brought his name up. And some of you really don't want to own that he did that. Because I always say, you don't know no more than what somebody tells you about another person. I didn't know these people. I just knew that a kid was missing. Praying that she was found, that she would be found. I didn't know these people. I didn't know the mother's full name. Didn't know any of that. Commenters went looking, searching, hunting. And I mean, they, they be on it, trying to get the 411 about these folks. And they'll send it to me, inbox me, whatever. But it dawned on me today, this has got to be what it's about because I haven't seen one receipt from Mr. McKinney what his issue is with two guns and that guy. And then now you throw in that other guy's daddy's name about a bond, paying Mr. Um, Patrick Stallworth's bond. You really that low and go that far? And I pray there's no truth to that because God knows we don't need no extra parties involved. But of course we assume that some extra parties are involved, some of us. And that's why I say, what is the truth? 
But until I see a receipt, phone message, text message, something from a real valid phone number in somebody's government name, I don't believe nothing you're saying. And that's Big Ange. That's how I roll. Because you have you never refuted the rumor when Two Guns first mentioned that. About, I guess it was April or whomever and his friend. You never said, I don't know nothing about that or that's not true. I don't feel that type of way. It took you a whole month to finally say something calling somebody crusty. And I'm looking at some of you all like, you all don't find that odd? It took a month for him to refute that statement by Mr. Vito. I just think that's odd. If somebody was, you threw somebody on the bus for a kidnapping, then they return and say, hey man, ain't nobody took nobody kid. It's all about baby mama. Woo, woo, woo. Mess with my friend. He never once, I didn't hear it, him say, no, that's not true. I don't care nothing about who she dated or liked or woo, woo, woo. So when I got that piece of information about Paulisha being in the video today, Go on to Vito's page, Vito's page, and I saw a little information on there about him being upset about baby mama locked up. No, he was locked up and the baby mama was messing around with somebody. It all fell into place for me. That post on November 26th on Mr. Vito's page, Vito's page, excuse me. The nugget about Paulicia being in one of Vito's videos. A post that Paulicia had on her page a while back about thinking about another man when he asked you what's wrong with you. You see, sometimes the information is sitting right in front of you and you don't see it. And it's just like this guy who's a friend of mine, he's a Facebook friend. And I value a man's opinion, especially about certain matters. And he kept saying to me, it may not be about nothing you think it's about. Because sometimes you can't believe the hype. You can't believe the rumors. You can't believe all that stuff they posted on Facebook. It might be about something way more simpler than a plug, robbery. He said it don't have to be about none of that because, one, we don't know these people. And I thought about that, and I've always thought about that, that maybe it ain't about none of that. And I've said that in a video before. Maybe it's not about the Facebook rumors. Maybe it's just blatant old jealousy. You feel some type of way about a baby mother, baby mothers. They've had some type of connection to Mr. Two Guns. Either liked him, dated him, or they dated like one of your, one of Mr. Two Guns' friends, associates, click, whatever, however it goes. And you feel some type of way because you've never proven to the public as much as you like to put stuff on Facebook and take it down and go live, you know, damn, they're foaming at the mouth. Why, why not just say, this is why I got a problem with dude. You know, you first said it was the kidnapping. Then you didn't have nothing really to say that I knew of because I didn't follow him in the, or on his page. But to me, I didn't see anything ironclad to say, okay, I could see how he felt this or this. Don't you all find it odd? We are seven weeks in almost of that child disappearing. Just the total case itself unfolding. And he never once said anything about Patrick Stallworth having a connection to this Nolan guy. And Nolan is so mysterious to me. I feel like he's the guy in the usual... uh suspects the movie I'm serious because you hear his name but you don't see him so it's kind of like is Mr. Nolan a ghost you know I'm serious I'm just keeping it real since his, this, this man his name has came up so much with this case you don't see Nolan hell I'm starting to wonder does he even exist but you understand my point you wait Damn, they're seven weeks in, seven weeks in to this case unfolding to finally say Patrick Starworth has a connection to Nolan and his father and something about his father doing a bond for Mr. Patrick when we already know the news people told 
His family put up the bond, six people. So what are you trying to say? Patrick is Nolan's cousin, brother, what? Damn, speak. You talk any other time, say what you mean. Because this makes no sense to me. And you got people who will believe it. I frankly, I'm not believing nothing like that. I'm just not. Because frankly, I don't trust anybody who's disrespectful. They came out the gate cussing at a baby mother where people were filming the first night. Oh yeah, I can go back. Then the day, next day, broad daylight when the news people are there and other eyewitness, eyewitnesses are there. That's when you first implicated her and talked bad about her and the cousin. All that. See, I keep telling you all, go back to the beginning. Because you see, you can't have a story without a beginning. The beginning of a story will eventually lead you to the end. Stop hopping in the middle. Stop trying to come up with an ending. Start at the beginning. And the beginning starts naturally with the mother. Now watching her kid. And then the father retaliates. Throws under the bus on the news. About her and her cousin. Then he goes and does a live. Talking about a ransom. Then goes to Facebook. And that's where Mr. Vito and Nolan. Come out of the dust. And now. Almost seven weeks in. You add some new information. Now you went deep into the belly of the beast to say, oh, and by the way, such and such daddy posted a bond and ah. Well, let me put this by you all. And then I'm going to check on out of here. If all that is true, why are you just now mentioning this mess about this guy and Patrick having a connection to one another? You know what I'm saying? Having a dealing with one another. Conspiring to take your child, murder your child. Why are you just now mentioning this? Why you didn't say that from day one? You see, instead of going live, talking crazy to the news, putting these folks' business in the street to where people could judge your baby mother and Shantae Long, you could have easily said all this day one. You should have kept your mouth closed and told the authorities what you thought, and you let them go from there with the said information. But instead, you're cloud chasing as well. Getting on social media. Talking bad about this guy and his friend. And now, almost two months in, you want to implicate now somebody's father. You see, that's a fool would do that. That's a fool. Only a fool would, two months in, start bringing other folks into a kidnapping slash murder. It's low down. And that's why I'm thinking to myself, what truth could be in that statement? Because you have yet to show any receipts of anything you've said. And after what I've seen from your own Facebook posts, your baby mother's Facebook posts, the video now with Miss Paulicia in that video, Two Guns video, Two, two Guns Facebook post, I saw all I needed to see. You feel some type of way about Mr. Two Guns. I don't know if you, he, and Nolan were ever good friends, hung together, ran together. I don't know because I'm not from there. But I know at some point you two have crossed paths or you feel some type of way about your baby mother's having some type of involvement with him and his friend and associates. And that's what I think. That this beef is over some women. Or as they say in the street, a little kitty cat. Mm -hmm. Excuse my language, but I'm keeping it 100. I want to thank SP Nuggets. I want to thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for that video. I even want to thank Mr. Two Guns. Because you see, a lot of you don't like him. But I always say, you can't talk about one versus the other. And you really can't. You see, I keep telling y'all, the answer is in the details. You hearing them, but you're not listening. Now, could I be wrong? Of course. I'm only human. But when I get a good feeling about something, I'm usually not wrong. It's too coincidental that all these people's names that have came out pertaining to this little girl's death, they all know each other. And I think that needs to be said. I probably should have said that first. 
All these people know of each other, and I find that odd. That every person whose name came up pertaining to this child's death know somebody else, know something about somebody else, got something to say about somebody else. That's t too odd for me. Because at some point, these people paths have crossed. It ain't no, I don't know her, never seen her before. Oh, yeah. You've seen these people before. We don't have to call their name out. You've seen the baby mama, you knew stuff about her, you related to the other baby mama. Y'all know all this stuff. We didn't know because we're outsiders. But you people been knowing about each other, hearing stories about each other, you knew each other. And I think it's pathetic. But the point is, this ongoing beef, I don't think it's about no street stuff. Could be wrong, but I don't think it is from what I'm seeing because I don't see no receipts. And naturally, if it was something illegal, they're not going to tell it because they would be foolish to do that. But as I'm saying, I'm not hearing anything else from other people. Because by now, somebody would know something that they could give a 411. Vito has talent, and that's a good thing. So he actually has something to focus on, to better himself, to be a better person. Because I'm not going to knock nobody that has talent. Because some of us wish we had talent. So I ain't no hater. But I think the best thing for Mr. Vito is to focus on his music and get on. And shine. Life is short. He's a young man. He has a whole life ahead of him. If he can survive long enough and stay out of this mess that he's gotten ensued in and what people are trying to put him in. I don't know. Like I said, I don't live down there. But I can at least say he, he does have a talent so he has something worth living for. As for the other one, Mr. Dom, I don't know. My gut feeling about him is that he's foul and he's rank. And he strikes me to have female tendencies to whine and cry and moan. And throw people under the bus when he does not get his way. And that's my perception of him. If he was to display another side of him, then I could speak on that. But he has not. And so I can't speak on that. You know, it's a sin to envy folks. Why? And it is. It's a sin to envy anybody. Because sometimes you looking at people thinking they got all this and that. And sometimes it ain't even what you think. And I tell people that too. About this case and other cases. That sometimes what you're looking at ain't really what you're seeing. What you're hearing ain't what you're seeing. So you have to sit and you watch. And that's basically what I've been doing. I've been watching everybody talk. Comment. And still in my mind I kept saying something is missing. But maybe it's sitting right in front of me. It's been there all along. Somebody just been hating over nothing. Over some gals. Why? Too old for that. That's my perception. I am Angela Logan. And this is Everyday Shenanigans. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.